So I've been trying this Lexan. I saw a video. I've seen some reports on it before about printing on it. Um, there were some other options and, and stuff. Only certain uh, filaments work with it. But I pretty much print PLA. Um, mostly HT PLAs. And I've heard that it works really well at sticking. Which it does. I mean it, it works really good. Um, but that you can peel it off like a flex plate. Now what I like about it is it stays fairly true, like glass does, but it weighs a lot less than glass. Well, this is a pretty thick sheet. I tried a thinner sheet at first, hoping I could save weight, but it's a little too flexible. And the problem with that was um, it wouldn't stay flat. It, it, you know, you clamped it down and it would just, its own weight would make it sag in the middle if there was any bubbles or it, it just doesn't doesn't support its own weight stay flat well um, this stayed pretty flat it looks pretty good when I leveled the bed um, it held well where I was trying to keep it when it's clipped it stayed there uh, let's see how it holds up now they say you can just ooh, listen to that crack I don't know if you can hear it eh, you can see my fan in the video you can hear the cracking Just kind of pops off. Now I've had a. Look at that. It did too. Now it held really well. I am, uh, after doing this one, I don't know if you can see it here. It's got some uh, residue. Of course, my fan's in the way. Let me turn this a little. Eh, that makes it worse. Let's go over here. And you can see some residue right here. Um, it's weird. Like the brim sticks almost too well. It's kind of funky. So what I actually did with this one, this is the first one with the heavier sheet. This is the very first print I've done with the heavier sheet. I actually set my nozzle height high, much higher than I normally would. I'm using two sheets of paper as my gap to uh, set the nozzle height, level the bed. But not only am I using two sheets, I'm using two sheets and I don't really, there's tension on it, but much less than I normally would when I move the paper back and forth underneath the nozzle. And it seems to have worked really well. Now this right here is um, eSuns HT, or uh, PLA Plus, that's what it is, it's their PLA Plus. It's not really a true HT, but it does, uh, it does print at a higher temperature, I run it about 215, 220 to print with it. Um, I actually was having problems with this red at first because I was running a little lower. They're blue, I can run lower for some reason. 210, 215. This red, I gotta run a little higher. But, back to the surface. Um, granted, that was the first time. It's not really a big item I printed, so I might have to try something a little larger to see how something bigger holds. But from what I can tell, oh, I just got a sliver. Um, from what I can tell, so far, I'm going to really like printing on Lexan sheet. Stuff's not cheap, but it's not ridiculously expensive. Um, it's cheaper than most of those uh, build tacky type sheets. Um, I think this was 12 bucks for a 12 by 12 sheet. And it's just a sheet of Lexan. Make sure you get Lexan. Don't get fiberglass. Fiberglass won't work. Neither will plexiglass. When you do the shoot, when you do the uh, search for it, I got it off Amazon. I had a bunch of uh, plexiglass ones show up. So be careful when you do the actual search and order. If you do decide to order it, that you actually get Lexan.